hi everyone and welcome in the previous couple of videos i have covered so many things about mqtt node red and morbus and backnet protocol okay so i have covered that how we can convert morbus tcp ip protocol data to mqtt using the node red how to convert morbus serial data to mqtt data using node red and how to convert backnet data to mqtt using node red okay but in this video we are going to cover the basic thing about mqtt and node red and our mosquito mqtt broker okay so if you haven't installed mosquito mqtt broker in your system then i suggest you have to install mqtt i mean mosquito mqtt broker in your system and once you install mosquito mqtt broker then you can open your task manager you can go to services and you can search for mosquito and here you will find the mosquito mqtt broker services are up and running fine okay so now we can use our node red with this mosquito mqtt broker and we can you know learn the basic thing about the node red and mqtt okay so if i navigate to my node red okay so you can see my node red is up and running so in the node section in the network node section you will find this two node mqtt in node and mqtt out node mqtt in node will read the data from your broker and mqtt out node will publish the data to your broker okay so here is my mqtt out node okay i have drag and drop the mqtt out node this node will help me to publish my data to broker okay in this case i have mosquito broker installed in my system so it will publish the data to my mosquito broker and whatever client is connected to my mosquito broker they can read the data okay so if you double click on this then you have to add mqtt broker here okay so click on this pencil here and i want to add my mosquito mqtt broker okay and the ip address of my mosquito mqtt broker is my local host ip address so 127.0.0.1 and the port number is 1883 which is default port for mosquito mqtt broker okay now we will leave uh, all the setting as it is and we will just click on the add okay now on which topic you want to send the data you can specify it here as well as if you have this inject node then you can also specify the topic here as well okay so i'm not going to specify the topic here and the qos i'm going to set zero and the retain is false okay so this is the mqtt publi publisher node okay so i'm going to press on done and we will inject the timestamp to the mqtt publisher node okay so it will publish the timestamp to mqtt broker okay and we can read the timestamp in this mqtt explorer software so here also you can see uh, name mosquito mqtt broker the ip address is 127.0.0.1 and the port number is 1883 so if i connect here it is connected but uh, no publisher is publishing the data okay so it is empty right now now here you can set the payload so payload i'm going to send is a timestamp and the topic i want to publish the data is a test topic okay so i can specify the topic name here also i can specify the topic name here okay but you have specified the topic name in the previous node then you don't have to specify the topic name here so if i deploy it okay and if i open this thing parallelly okay now if i inject this one then you can see the test topic has some data okay it's a timestamp data if i inject it again then you can see the data is changing and also you can see the history okay if i press it again then you can see there is there is a third uh, point which is showing the new data okay the fourth update the fifth update okay the sixth update so this is how you can use uh, mqtt out node okay mqtt out node to publish the data to your mqtt broker and your mqtt broker can be anything it can be your amazon web services broker it can be your sidalo mqtt broker it can be your hive mq mqtt broker cloud mqtt broker mosquito mqtt broker anything okay for all those things you have to i mean define your broker settings here and then you can send your update or your data to mqtt broker now what we want to do is we want to use our node red as a mqtt subscriber okay so we have to use uh, mqtt in node 
so if any topic has any update then we want to read that update and we want to display in the debug window okay so i can use this way okay and here i have to specify from which broker i want to read the update so i have to specify my broker here from which topic i want to read the update so if i create a test two topic here okay quality of service is zero and if i press on done okay and if i deploy it then i can publish some value on the test two topic like row value like 23 so if i publish it here okay and you can see the 23 here okay so this MQTT in node will read the data from test two topic and the whatever data update we will provide or any other uh, client will provide or any other publisher will provide the update on the test two then our node trade will read the data and it will publish on our debug window instead of debug window you can uh, use your function to do some analysis do some work based on the value okay but this is just for testing that we can read the data so if i uh, put the data like 56 and if i publish from here then you can see the 56 data if i want to change the topic okay so i can change the topic from here that i want to read the data of test topic okay which is the timestamp data so i can deploy it and whatever data i am injecting from here that i will get it here you can see last three digits is three two six okay if i again inject it from here then you can see this node will read the data from test topic okay this software mpt explorer software is also reading the data on the test topic okay and you can see the data is matching here so you can use node read as a mqtt publisher mqtt subscriber okay so that is possible so i hope this thing is clear that how to use mqtt in node and the mqtt out node so mqtt in node will act as a subscriber to subscribe any topic and get the data and mqtt out node will act as a mqtt publisher to publish the data to the mqtt broker okay so basically mqtt out node will send the data to mqtt broker and the mqtt in node will read the data from your mqtt broker okay so i hope this thing is clear to you and if you uh, send instead of timestamp if you stand some number like 77 on the test topic okay and if you deploy it then it will send 77 number and this uh, mqtt in node will read the data and it will display here okay if you write some function here instead of this inject node if you go for a counter or if you go for any function then the function will publish the data on your uh, mqtt broker on some topic and this mqtt in node will read the data and you can use the data later on for your dashboard purpose for your you know logic purpose for any purpose okay so i hope this thing is clear to you and if you haven't installed i mean mosquito mp3 broker in your system then you can install by just searching on the google mosquito download okay sorry the spelling is uh, wrong okay you can download from here okay mosquito.org download and you can download for windows operating system mac linux raspberry pi for every other operating system okay so i hope this thing is clear to you and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere also you can click on this links okay if you want to ping me on whatsapp just click on this link and it will redirect you to my whatsapp okay so i hope this thing is clear and we have covered that how to connect node trade with mosquito mqtt broker as a publisher or as a subscriber okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt then you know where to ask okay so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you